If your pastor gives you a prophecy and says to you, bring your card to me so that this prophecy that I have given you will come to pass. Will you give the car or will you not give the car? Assuming, let's say you're looking, for example, you're looking for a child, a fruit of the womb. And the pastor said, in the next two months, you're going to conceive. But to claim this prophecy, bring your car to me. This is the seed that you have to sow to claim your prophecy. Will you give your car to the pastor? If he can do it, Temitope Monday Diamond can do it. And Pujara. So it happened that Dr. David Emmanuel Ovier of God in Action Liberation Ministries is the daddy GO of Temitope Monday Diamond. And it happened that he gave Monday a prophecy and said, bring your car so that this prophecy that I have given you will come to pass. And Monday, filled with joy that this not have been praying for a long time will come to pass, carried his car and gave to this pastor. But what happened? After the time, the duration that, they, that this pastor said that this prophecy will come to pass has elapsed, and the prophecy didn't come to pass, Monday's wife said to Monday, Sweetheart, go back to this pastor and collect our car. Since this prophecy that he has given us that he said, he said that if we give our car, this prophecy will come to pass. Since this prophecy has not come to pass, please go back and collect this car. So Monday went back to the pastor to collect the car. Then the pastor said, I have sold your car. I have sold your car for a million. I can give you back the money if you want. So Monday said, give me back the money. Give me back the money. So he said, okay, I'll be paying you the money in installments. I'll be paying you weekly. I'll pay you one million like that. So he promised to pay back the money. After some time, he did not pay this money to back to Monday. Monday said that he carried two soldiers and some boys to his uh, church and demanded for his money. Whether he created a sin, but he said that he went peacefully and left peacefully. The pastor said that he came into the church when he was conducting a wedding for some people and started creating sin there. He arrested Monday. Monday stated what happened. And they asked the pastor, is it true? Yes, it's true. Then return his money. Then he promised to return the money. He continued to delay and delay and delay and until one day, Monday said that paper was served to him that this pastor had slammed him a lawsuit of 500 million damages. The damages he caused the very day that he went to his church with some soldiers. He claimed that the soldiers came with guns. He claimed that they came with a knife, axe, and many other harmful things that they came into the church to threaten him, you know, and all that. So the case is in the court now. He filed 500 million Naira lawsuit for damages against Monday. For my own cow, on top of my own cow, on top of my own cow, Jesus. My dear people, I don't know what you think about this. Who is to be blamed in this case now? You know we always blame the pastors. We always blame the scammers who are pastors. You know, we always blame them. What, but have you asked yourself whether these people that they are scamming, whether they don't have common sense? No, 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 you, 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 you now. Can you give your car to a pastor because of prophecy? Can't you just wait for the prophecy to come to pass before you give whatever you want to give? The prophecy has not come to pass and you carried your car and gave to the man. So I think, to me, I will blame the Monday. I'll blame the Monday. He has no right to even go to say return that car. He has no right. Because he has given it the same he has given it. Let him wait for his prophecy to come to pass. It can take hundreds of years to come to pass. After all, uh, Abraham's own prophecy took a long time to come. So he should also wait. Just like Abraham waited. And many other people waited in the Bible. Do you understand? Why can't you just have some common sense? You imagine how many churches that we have in our world today. 
and each and every day some young young men are coming out to establish their churches and once they start clapping hands and singing people will start trooping to that particular place without asking questions is this person really called by god why is he having his separate church why is he having his own separate church instead of his mother church why has he broke out what is his intention what is his motive what is his mission but let me tell you one thing if money is not involved in this uh, pastoring thing they will not continue remove money remove money from churches you will not have all these churches springing up remove money from churches you will not have all these churches springing up must you always go to different places to seek for solutions to your problem when you you can stay in your mother church and pray to god and your problem will uh, be solved do you understand me do you understand because i see many women go from going from different angle to to other angle i see men and women working from one angle to the other angle because of one problem that they have they move from here to to london from london to J uh, jerusalem from jerusalem to uh, uh to uh, to enugu from enugu to lagos from lagos to abba they are looking for solutions to their problems when they have god's presence in the presence of the mighty god everything happens so why are you going to those pastors when you can pray for yourself when you can fast and pray and cry to god and your problem gets solved if you want someone to pray for you go to someone that go to your mother church go to the, your mother church the mother church i'm talking about those early early churches not new generation churches go to mother church when i talk about mother church i know what i'm talking about go to mother church pray to god there god will answer you there stop following pastors around stop following pastors around see i am not saying that you should not follow men of god you understand me we have real men of god we have fake ones we have real men of god we have fake men of god better know that we have real prophets and we have fake prophets let me know what you think in the comment section do you really support the pastor or do you support the person that has been scammed who do you support let me know in the comment section thank you so much for coming this far with me in case you have not subscribed my channel kind of do so now click on the bell icon so that you can easily assess my upcoming posts like share my videos thank you so much i will see you in my next video god bless you bye bye bye